This list yesterday that featured the Mariah Carey Christmas song reminds me of that one time when one of our viewers, a big fan of Larry's, uh, sent this personalized 9 at 9 song. Take a look. Larry, this is for you. Nine at 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 nine. He ruins Christmas. You had a way uh, with, with words making that pair of songs. You have to listen to that or the real Mariah yeah, Carey which song which for the rest you of your life. Which one would you choose? I'd go. I, I can't get that out of my head now. Nine, 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 nine. Like, it sticks. It's yeah, yeah. 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 so in the box. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh -huh. Oh. What's happening? Are we going oh, right to the 9 yeah, That was the 9 song. Yeah, that's why I was confused. All right, uh, number nine. Here's why it uh, pays to be a former teen WB star. Oh. Uh, now we're Katie back Holmes, now we're back on TV. Paul. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sorry. I'm uh, trying to pre read a script here for yeah, once. Really good for you. For Let me poke here for a change. Uh, Katie Holmes made a ton of dough working on Dawson's Creek, uh, according to CelebrityNetWorth.com, which is always accurate. She started out making around $30,000 per episode, but a few years in, the show reached its peak in popularity, and fans couldn't get enough by that time. Holmes was getting 175,000 per episode, and back then they did 26 episodes a season. Wow. So that came out to about 4.2 million a year. Wow! Wow! Well, that sounds about right. Yeah. 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 Gotta, Good just for gotta her. make sure you manage your money, right? Yeah. 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 All right, number eight. If you know me, you know I'm a collector of things like my precious moments collection. Oh. Yes. That since they came out in 1978. And my latest obsession, fanciful china patterns. Oh, okay. Can't tell you how many Ooh. hours I spend hunting for my favorite styles. I've been in several bidding wars lately on eBay, and I especially <laughs> like the old tobacco leaf yeah. and the old spode blue Italian. Uh, I display them in a large wooden hutch, FYI. They're also great conversation pieces, and if you're wondering, I'm looking for some rare bowls from the 1940 <laughs> fluted Blue Royal Copenhagen collection. Oh. Hit me up on the old DMs if you know where I can get one. All Great. right. Those are fun and fanciful. You really should show up your collection one of these yeah. days. I'm just afraid if I show it, someone's going to come up and steal them yeah. Yeah. from my house. Sure. Yeah, you're so right. got to be very specific. <laughs> yeah. All right, number seven. Uh, let's see a few more items from the ridiculous but awesome Goop gift guide. For just eight grand, show them how much you care with a two-person sauna. This is an infrared sauna, which means it uses the light to make heat. Two pluses, it has Bluetooth, and they'll deliver it to your door in about a week. Well, that's not too bad. This one's a little confusing to us. It's called a tufted boudoir chase. Oh, nicely pronounced. Let's take a look. Yeah, it was nicely pronounced. What? What's well, uh, I guess that means that, that you keep it in your bedroom. Uh, anyway, uh, it sure looks pretty uncomfortable for something that's $28,000. Uh, All the ch these chairs are final sale. Oh, boy. Oh. And last one, if there's a ham lover on your list, you get a whole leg of the famous Serrano ham from Spain for 300 bucks. Whole jamon. Check Whoa. out this video. Let's watch this guy carve the ham. Wow, look at him go. Look at mm. a lot of fat. What do you do? You just yeah. keep that in your fridge for like a year or something? Look who, who. Oh, oh, uh, oh, that's a surprise. Wow. Yeah. That's potential that. right there. Yeah. It was. Boy, they're really selling it, aren't they? Knife also, uh, huh? One heck of a knife. Oh, you get the whole hamon. How much was that? Three hundred bucks. Very yeah, fat. So, yeah. I mean, there's a yeah, lot of fat in there. Yeah. yeah. You want that lean hand. <laughs> 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 All right, number six. Bird scientists are studying ostriches for new clues about <laughs> heat tolerance in animals. They're looking at how the large birds cope with fluctuating temperatures, body size, 
is an important factor here. Adult ostriches have a smaller surface area relative to their body I'll volume. I'll never get over this ostrich. So they are more tolerant in cold weather and less able to cope in extreme heat. Understanding how their bodies adapt can one day lead to higher survival rates in other animals as the climate and environment continue to change. Uh. So it's not implausible that they'd be skiing. They like no, the cold that's right. yeah, yeah. They're happiest there, probably. All right, number five, we've been playing some uh, Christmas music here, and Larry's got some uh, more songs today that he's going to share, and that's great. But it brings up the question, are you the type of person who likes poppy songs, or do you like more traditional churchy songs, like the Joan Baez Christmas album? Take a listen here. What child is oh. this who laid to rest on Mary's ah. lap? This is fun if you were born in the Middle Ages, I think. Right, that's what it sounds like. Like minstrels. Yeah. But I think her voice is kind of stinking this one up a little bit, right? I think, like so. you put yeah. a, I think if you were like a squire, you'd you know, <laughs> Probably. Wow. Hmm. She's hitting the notes beautifully. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's just that. a different style. It's not for you. No. Hmm. Oh, she's awfully different. close to that candle. Too. Yeah, <laughs> that's dangerous. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. I hit my. I was at my uh, niece's yeah, place yeah, the other day. She yes. had a candle on her, on her. You know, with three wicks. You know, one of those oh, round yeah. ones. And we're leaving. No one's blowing out the candle. Okay. So she's leaving too. Everybody's leaving. Everybody's leaving the house. It's Nobody. And it's, I'm nervous because no one's blowing out oh, this candle because it, the candles make me nervous. So yeah. I figure I got to blow it out. Yeah. I blow it and I blow the wax all over wow. the wooden table. Dangerous. See, that could have shot someone in the eye and then this it ruins the table. Time blowing out a candle? Well, what are you there doing? Was, I didn't know there was this wax bouillon in there yeah. that was yeah. really floating you know, in there. Yeah. 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 I know. You have to blow it like, like it's your birthday. Yeah. With all she's a big blower. She has been a blowhard forever, so it only makes sense. <laughs> <it. laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. well. Note to Dangerous. self, don't invite Rob <laughs> over. Yeah. Uh, number four, you want to keep your pet out of your Christmas tree this year? Uh, make it stink. Oh. I mean, and we're talking P-U. Uh -huh. Cats and dogs don't like citrus. Oh. So if you want to keep them away from the branches, yeah. try adding homemade lemon or orange slice ornaments. There you go. Let them pee on the sofa yeah. instead. <laughs> <laughs> or adding uh, some essential oils with a citrus scent. Uh, they'll smell great to you, and they'll add ambiance to your home, uh, but the pets will most likely stay far, far away. Of course, uh, there's always that one uh, who doesn't care, the yeah. pet exception to every rule that mm. right. loves oranges, but yeah. you got to take your chances. Yeah. Number three is a real quick video that shows just one aspect of life in an authoritarian state. These are police in Shanghai, China, on the subway, checking people's phones for illegal apps. No way. China, of course, controls the information in the country and the major media outlets, and they're really cracking down these days with the current protests. Wow. Looks like the person in the foreground here is trying to delete some apps before the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the next time you complain about what's wow. on the news, uh, remember that, that wow. you don't live over there with yeah. that insanity. All right, number two, some experts from different uh, industries and backgrounds are saying the best way to clean almost all of your clothes is in cold water. This advice comes from appliance makers, clothing and textile manufacturing, environmental groups, and even stay-at-home moms. The appliance makers say it's the most efficient way to clean clothes. Textile people say it's the best way to make the material last. Uh -huh. Fashion people say it's the best way to make them fit. And many moms say it's the best way to keep the colors from fading. But all agree for really sweaty clothes or stuff that's, you know, really dirty and you want to sanitize, you want to use the hot water. But otherwise, you're just wearing a t-shirt and throwing it in the hamper, you know, you just, yeah. cold water will be fine. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Number one, uh, we are a little embarrassed that we are late uh, to the party on this one. Uh, this is Zeb Ross. Uh, the leader of the uh, Jay Creek Cloggers in North Carolina. He's a traditional country dancer, but people are loving when that gets paired up with modern music, like the Usher song, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 
That's good stuff. He's getting a lot of play, this guy. He really yeah. is. So cloggers don't have to have cloggy shoes. It's just uh, you can have any kind of shoes. I'm, I'm late looking. to the game on this. Because he's just got the, the yeah. gym shoes on. Now, Paul, there's nine of them. Is this similar to what your family did for your children? It's almost an exact replica. Yeah. Just, well, yeah. the listen, you weren't wearing polo shirts and jeans, no, though. Uh, no, we had it put some later yeah. hoses on there and a tie and some similar, fancy size. Similar, similar dance exactly style. Exactly the same, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very much so. I think they're probably trying to replicate what my family you did. You didn't call it clogging. You uh, called it my personal nightmare, yeah. I think, is it fair? <laughs> but you yes, called it. That would be correct. Let's try to wait. Let's just watch one more time. My therapist Here's calls the, it trauma. Paul's the second one coming. He's, about, he's up next. He's just, he's just ready to play his stomach. He's the other guy. He's just going to kick up a laser. <laughs> Easy for you guys to laugh. Did you ever get to a point where you told your parents, I'm not doing this anymore? Uh, yeah, but it was too late. The damage was done. <laughs> and there's no videotape yeah. of this. No, it was pre-videotape. my hardest to make sure that Well, that's, that's, that's a blessing. You know, be fun. That is one of God's gifts. <laughs> We should do like a recreation, like the ESPN 30 for 30 or something. Uh, it's too painful. Look at yeah. here he comes. Come on. <laughs> Paul is waiting in line to get yeah. his turn. Can we put some like uh, some some yodeling music? Yeah, and, like and, one kind of kind of polka, very little polka, 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 polka behind this. It's in the same ballpark. Yeah, put a polka. Yeah, we hate to throw that. Yeah. But boy, that is a gift. This is, is some talent. I mean, yeah. wow. You would know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's special. It's a nine, 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 n